Right now at 11, doors close. The Chippewa Valley reflects as two major hospitals are officially shut down. And a Wisconsin congressman is calling it quits early, reducing Republicans already razor thin majority in the House. Plus a crucial childhood skill. Students at Northside get a crash course in bike riding. You're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10 at 11. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. No one is hurt after a large garage fire on La Crosse's north side. The La Crosse Fire Department tonight was called to the 1600 block of Wood Street just after 5 p.m. They found a detached garage in an alleyway completely engulfed in flames. It took 21 firefighters to get it under control. Officials say heavy smoke also caused heat damage to an adjacent house and garage. Battalion Chief Trigestad said this fire was a challenging one to detain. It was a difficult fire. Uh, it was a large garage, um, had a lot of uh, tires and things you'd find in normal garages as well. So a lot of tires. Uh, some vehicles in there, all things that make it a little bit tough to get to certain spots of the garage. Now the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Well, the region saw a little bit of snowfall, but more is coming on Sunday. Okay. For the breakdown, let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Greg Barnhart. Yeah, we had a little bit of snow. Most areas picked up maybe about two to four inches. A little bit more Eau Claire, less as you go towards southwest Wisconsin. We kind of mentioned that band last night, but that shifted actually more toward northern Illinois. So that's where they saw more than five to eight inches. But overall for tonight, it's really going to be the cold temperatures with the snowpack. It's only two inches, but it does help to cool the temperatures and the clear skies. You're going to see temperatures drop over overnight really into almost 10 degrees up to Ladysmith to the teens, maybe a few single digits out there. So quite chilly for this time of year to see those temperatures. As we wake up, you're going to see that north wind. We're going to see clearing sc clear skies, but temperatures are struggling to get to freezing by noon. So once again, we should be around the mid 40s for this time of year. So a cold start, even cold afternoon for your Saturday. 14 for your morning low in Eau Claire. We're going to climb back up to about 30. Plenty of sunshine in the morning. We do have cloud cover increasing. There's another weak little wave. You can just kind of see the snow there over in South Dakota, Rapid City. That's going to kind of sneak across the area, give us some maybe a little bit of light snow going into Saturday night into Sunday morning, but that is not the main story that we're really looking for, but still something to keep an eye on. Then as we go throughout, we're going to time out later on actually with the alert day going on for Sunday. We're going to have the snow coming in Sunday uh, and Sunday afternoon and then quickly turn to rain. So that's the bigger story. So I'll time all the transition there and how much we'll get a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. It's the end of an era in the Chippewa Valley. Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire and St. Joseph's Hospital in Chippewa Falls served its community for a combined 174 years. Today, both hospitals closed their doors for good. News Eight Now's Michael Germain recaps an emotional day in Chippewa Falls. Community members, first responders, and employees gathered at St. Joseph this afternoon to celebrate the hospital and what it meant for so many throughout the region. Mark Schwinn was one of many who attended the tribute walk. He's been working at St. Joseph Hospital for the past six years and said he had plans of retiring here. I don't know what it's going to do to our community. Um, you know, we're joking about it. What if somebody slipped and fell right now? Uh, where would you go to the hospital? One former employee says it wasn't just a hospital. It was a place where she built a family. These were my friends. This was my family. We created a culture on the units where I worked that was very um, kind and caring and inclusive. She recalls how important the hospital was to the community, but saw the changes that led to the hospital's current fate. The number of patients that we saw has decreased, and so, you know, that has led to the situation we're currently in. Now, residents say they're hopeful other health care clinics in the region will be able to fill the void left by both closures. Plans for a new facility in the area are still unknown. And $15 million in state funding designed to help existing services fill that void continue to sit idle in the Joint Finance Committee. In the meantime, Eau Claire City Council President Emily Berge today called today a sad day for the region. Quote, with only an eight-week notice, we are losing hospital access as well as other medical care, which we feel will feel the impact of years to come. In the midst of these shocking turn of events, I'm proud of how our community has come together. Challenges will continue, but we are united around finding sustainable solutions to care for our community. Her full statement will be on all of our digital platforms. 
The mother of missing three-year-old Elijah Vu appeared in court today. 31-year-old Katrina Bauer pleading not guilty to multiple charges, including chronic child neglect and obstructing an officer. Elijah has been missing since February 20th. No one has been charged in the toddler's disappearance. Search efforts are expected to resume Saturday morning. Bauer's boyfriend Jesse Vang is also facing child neglect charges for when Elijah was in his care. His next court date is April Fourth. Plans for a power line across a Mississippi River wildlife refuge are temporarily blocked. This morning, a federal judge prevented construction from starting on the transmission line. The line, which is a joint venture between American transmission company ITC Midwest and Dairyland Power Cooperative, would run between Iowa's Dubuque County and Wisconsin's Dane County. The refuge the line would cross serves as a haven for fish, wildlife, and migratory birds. In today's hearing, the judge said he wants to see documents detailing the lead up to the project's approval. Wisconsin political ads must now disclose if they include AI-generated content. Ahead of the 2024 election, Governor Tony Evers signed the bipartisan legislation into law. It requires any audio or video campaign materials to disclose at the start and end of an ad if synthetic media or generative AI was used to create the ad. Groups that violate the requirement will face fines. And Election Day is right around the corner, so that means poll work worker training is being in full swing around La Crosse County. About 100 poll workers have recently gone through training, either learning the process for the first time or getting a refresher. The county clerk says it's been almost a year since the county had an election, and it's important to her that everything goes well. Got to make sure we're following the rules. When someone casts a ballot, we want to make sure that ballot's going to count, that's not going to get rejected, um, that the, the voter's not going to have a problem at the poll. So we want to make sure everybody's on the same page. We want to make sure that we're doing everything right and make sure the election day goes smoothly. A part of the job of poll workers is to help register people to vote. In Wisconsin, you can register on Election Day at your polling place. You just want to make sure you bring proof of residence. And every voter needs to bring photo ID in order to cast their ballot. Well, it was a fun way to spend a Friday. Students at Northside Elementary School practiced one of the basic skill sets of childhood. Kindergartners and first graders partook in the Learn to, Learn to Ride program. 60 students geared up with helmets and bikes provided by Smith's Bike Shop. Today's lesson was about learning balance. Kids got to ride on pedalless bikes over makeshift ramps and wooden planks. The program, created by Northside PE teacher Emily Seigmeyer, ensures every student in Northside learns how to ride a bike by third grade. It was sparked by a survey that showed very surprising results. Over 40% of our students didn't know how to ride bikes, um, so this is hopefully going to fill that gap of teaching kids a lifelong skill and that every kid leaving Northside knows how to ride a bike. That's my goal. The Learn to Ride program was funded by a Gold Star grant from La Crosse Public Education Foundation. The students completed the bike program today. A Republican majority is getting thinner in the House. One Wisconsin congressman suddenly decides to leave Washington earlier than he originally planned. For 48 years, they've brought you the finest street machines, motorcycles, street rods, race cars, trucks, antiques, and classics in the Midwest. God's Country Racing Association's annual Custom Auto Show is coming to the South Hall of the Lacrosse Center, March 22nd through the 24th. Day passes and weekend passes are available at the door. God's Country Racing Association's 48th annual Custom Auto Show is sponsored in part by Curtis Printing Company, Premier Powder Coating, Big Boar Barbecue, Auto Value, and Holman Custom and Collision. How about a bite of your lemon blueberry French toast for a bite of my strawberry cheesecake French toast. Mm, this is my last bite. Try our new ultimate French toast platters, only at Perkins. Get an extra 7% tax relief discount with tax relief savings now at Home Furniture. Call Hupie and Abraham. They really do mean business. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now.
With just minutes to spare before a partial government shutdown, the U.S. Senate appears to have reached a deal on a bill to fund the government through September. The $1.2 trillion spending package passed the House earlier today with bipartisan support. However, the far-right ring of the Republican Party remained in stiff opposition to the measure. Those lawmakers say federal spending is too high and the bill doesn't address the real crisis in the country. Some will say that the Republicans are in the majority in the House, but it's clear that the Democrats own the Speaker's gavel. Because this bill, it's not a Republican piece of legislation. It's keeping the border open. Third District Congressman Derek Van Orden was one of three yes votes among Wisconsin seats. Southeast Minnesota Congressman Brad Finstad voted no. Now that roughly 1,000 page spending bill is leading far right House Republicans to try and remove a Speaker of the House for the second time in five months. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has filed a motion to vacate current Speaker Louisiana's Mike Johnson. Green is calling it a warning to the speaker, who's worked with Democrats to offer the spending package to keep the government open. And it's a very similar situation to five months ago when Republicans turned on then Speaker Kevin McCarthy because McCarthy was also working with Democrats to offer plans to avoid shutdowns. A moderate New York Republican today calling Green's motion idiotic, while Green says Johnson has betrayed the American people. Not only idiotic. Uh, but it actually does not do anything to uh, advance the conservative movement. Uh, and in fact, it undermines the country and our majority. We had one day basically to read 1,012 pages, breaking the 72-hour rule. Uh, this is a betrayal of the American people. This is a betrayal of Republican voters. Lawler says Green's motion does nothing to help Republicans use its majority to tackle issues like the southern border. The House has already left on spring recess, so Johnson is safe for now. A northeastern Wisconsin congressman is leaving Washington earlier than expected. Republican Representative Mike Gallagher said last month he would not run for re-election after he voted against impeaching the Homeland Security Secretary. Today, Gallagher says he plans to resign from Congress early on April 19th. That's past the deadline in Wisconsin law that triggers a special election for vacant congressional seats. That means his seat will stay empty until the November general election. A new calculation error could delay several hundred thousand student aid applications. That's according to the Department of Education. It's yet another issue for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, process. Historically, colleges have received applications and send financial aid award letters to students in the month of March, and those students then normally decide where to enroll by the start of May. Though delays and glitches have plagued the recently updated FAFSA. The Department of Education's newest mistake results in incorrect financial need information that was sent to colleges on applications before March 21st. Officials say the vast majority of those records have not been affected by the error, but more processing delays are now expected. Drug maker Eli Lilly says two insulin products will be in short supply. The company says 10 milliliter vials of Humalog and the insulin Lispro injection will be limited at wholesalers and some pharmacies until April. It says a manufacturing delay is behind that shortage. The medications are still available in pre-filled pen versions. If you have trouble getting your prescription filled, the company said you should check other pharmacies or contact your health care provider. A vacation spot with an added benefit. The hotel that's helping fosters link pups with a forever home later on tonight. And we have a couple opportunities for snow this weekend, Saturday night, but we got a bigger snow event potentially for Sunday afternoon that turns into rain or even thunderstorms come Monday. I'll time all that out and explain how much snow we actually might see that coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale with Hot Buys, your choice of color starting at just $3.99. Or shop new looks for less with 0% interest until March 2029 on in-store purchases. Celebrate and save today, only at Ashley. If you're ready for a new kitchen, then you owe it to yourself to visit the board store during the 2024 Early Bird Home Show. This is the design center where our designers put it all together for you. Visit our flooring showroom, see all of the possibilities. Visit our kitchen showroom and see all of the styles that are available to you. Then return here and put in your countertops, put in your fixtures, put in your knobs, and design that kitchen that's just right for you during the Early Bird Home Show, only at the board store. Call or visit soon. It's spring bonus season. Time to take control of your spring in a new Ford truck. 
Get started with exclusive spring bonus offers at your local Northland Ford dealers. Then, own the season behind the wheel of your new Ford. Whether you're looking for power or capability, there's a Ford truck waiting for you at your local Northland Ford dealers. Get in the driver's seat today. Get an F-150 XLT with 1.9% financing for 72 months, plus up to 2,000 in total savings, and for a limited time, an extra 1,000 in spring bonus cash. The High V Snack Sale, this Friday through Sunday. Get Pringles, just $1.48. Doritos, just $3.48. Cheese and Snack Crackers, just $1.99. And Little Debbie Snacks, also just $1.99. Plus, get these other great snack time deals. Don't miss the snack sale all weekend long, this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. Hi, folks. Harvey Wood of Wood Sales and Service here. If you're looking for a tractor, stop by Wood Sales and check out our lineup of Coyote tractors. Subcompact, compact, and utility tractors. If it needs doing, Coyote tractors will get it done. Get 0% for 84 months or cash rebates with standard rate options. Coyote tractors at Wood Sales and Service. Experience the Wood Sales advantage of service before and after the sale. Wood Sales and Service, Black River Falls. Family owned and operated for 55 years. WoodSalesService.com. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Mattress Sale. Bring home a new Ashley Sleep Mattress starting at $250. Plus, for a limited time only, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com to celebrate and save today. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Yeah, we got a couple opportunities for snow going on this weekend, especially Sunday, but it's a complex winter storm, so I'll have to kind of show you what I mean by how things are going to really change from Sunday to Monday. But for tonight, really, it's a clear skies and the cool temperatures are actually chilly as you wake up in the teens, maybe even single digits, so that's well below average for where we should be. And plenty of sun for tomorrow morning. We'll see some increase in clouds, but it won't be really until the afternoon. Temperatures still struggling to get to the mid to upper 30s in most locations. We should be in the mid 40s this time of year or even upper 40s in some search uh, locations. By the time we get to the afternoon, then we're going to start seeing that wave approach from the east. That's the first opportunity for some light snow, and it's really for really uh, Winona to La Crosse further south, maybe touching Eau Claire a little bit, but most of this will be just light snow tomorrow night. It'll kind of go push through the area, fall apart, but give some areas at least a little bit of a dusting to maybe a half inch. Maybe some of the isolated areas could get an inch, but that's kind of what we're seeing for that first little bit of snow. So if you're out and about Saturday night or even Saturday evening, you might see that, especially going south and east of La Crosse and those areas. That's not really the big storm that we're watching. The alert day is for the next system that really is going to be a pretty major winter storm for the whole entire Midwest. And it's really going into Sunday afternoon is what we're watching. Right now, the winter storm watches are out for up in Mankato, Minneapolis, up to Ladysmith, because that's where at least the snow will stay snow for a longer period of time and more confident you're definitely going to get heavier mounts. We might see more watches in our area probably tomorrow if, they <clears throat> if we see the snow that's going to stick around. Excuse me. But if there's the one wave we're watching, that's for Saturday. Here comes a system. It's pretty messy until it actually gets into the plains, and then you see it really wrap up with a lot of snowfall, heavy snowfall, this band. That's the first band that comes through here about noon, 10 a.m. to about noon. It's going to kind of lift across the area. Then as we get towards the evening, a lot more question marks go over this transition to rain. As you see, begin to approach the area sometime in the evening hour, we're going to start seeing a transition to some rain. Even some drier air may work in, so we might see some precipitation kind of shut off for the night for a lot of some of the areas through Sunday night. Now this line of where this happens, this is going to change from now until about Sunday evening. Right now it's kind of sitting right near Eau Claire by 11 p.m., but uh, things could change, so just stay tuned. Then as we go on through Monday, all the area gets to see this whole entire warm air push all the way to northward to northern Wisconsin, so everyone will switch over back to rain. But then you kind of see some brighter colors here, so that means we might actually see thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. Getting down to Iowa, they could actually almost be strong. This is a pretty dynamic, strong system, so this could push 60s potentially into some of the areas come Monday along with strong winds and then as we go through Monday and Tuesday we can again on the back side so we might see a little snow mixing back in. So there's a lot of working parts with this but the snow amounts have dropped off a little bit further south.
but this could change once again for the next 24 hours. Just uh, stay tuned to the forecast as we nail down more of the snow, but the thing is, it's going to eventually turn to rain come Monday. But temperatures looking at here tonight are definitely going to be in the teens to single digits, and then as we go through tomorrow, Sun, maybe a little bit of snow towards tomorrow evening, but temperatures in the upper 30s near 40. And then all the snow begins to push into the area come Sunday, and that's when the alert day comes in. And then the transition to rain at some point Sunday evening to Sunday night. And then it gets windy, 57 lacrosse. There's some areas, once again, that could hit 60 and some thunderstorms Monday. And then we kind of cool back off and dry out with more subtle weather potentially coming for Easter weekend. Okay. A couple wild days in there. Yeah, right. Monday actually won't be bad for some of the areas with yeah. hitting 60. There's no wind chill with that windy. No, that one's coming right? at 60 with the south wind. Okay. No. All right, just making sure. Keep it on your toes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> coming up next in sports, the Badgers in a battle against 31 and 3 James Madison tonight. Plus the UWL football team back on the field after a special 2023 season. They're right back to work for spring practices. Rob's up next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin with six locations of fun. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. It's spring bonus season. Time to take control of your spring in a new Ford truck. Get started with exclusive spring bonus offers at your local Northland Ford dealers. Then own the season behind the wheel of your new Ford. Whether you're looking for power or capability, there's a Ford truck waiting for you at your local Northland Ford dealers. Get in the driver's seat today. Get an F-150 XLT with 1.9% financing for 72 months, plus up to 2,000 in total savings, and for a limited time, an extra 1,000 in spring bonus cash. T-Mobile coverage in my area is wonderful. We have eight acres and it gives you peace of mind to know that you're gonna have a reliable signal. We enjoy hiking, we enjoy the outdoors. The coverage has been great. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. God. What do you think you're doing? I like to sleep with my window open. You are not supposed to touch the thermostat. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Despite the winter weather making a return this morning here in La Crosse, it did not stop the UWL football team from getting back on the field. Eagles starting spring practice this week, which will go until mid-April. It's an important stretch for UWL as they're coming off one of the best seasons in recent years where they won the WIAC outright and made it to the Division III quarterfinals before ultimately losing to North Central. Eagles are returning all but five starters, which makes for a very experienced squad. One of the biggest advantages of that is they know how difficult it is to make it to the top, which means they're going to come to practice focused and ready to work regardless of which season it is. And more importantly, they understand what it takes. Uh, they understand how difficult that path is going to be here uh, in 2024, and they understand uh, what the what the climb looks like to the top of the mountain. I think there's a lot of teams in in college football that that talk about winning championships, that 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 like maybe going to the first day all excited, but. But there's only a few teams in college football that actually know how difficult and how hard that journey is, and I feel that we're one of them. As for the weather, Coach Janice says if he would have preferred it to be a little nicer, but he also said that the team has to get used to playing in this cold because come playoff time, we all know how unforgiving the weather could be here in the Midwest. NCAA restrictions not allowing me to show the Wisconsin highlights tonight. Probably better that way. Badgers getting blitzed in Brooklyn. This one was all James Madison. 
from the opening tip. Dukes led by 13 at the break. It was all downhill from there for the Badgers. Wisconsin knocked out in the first round 72 to 61. Let's see if number two Marquette could escape the first round. Golden Eagles getting tested by number 15 Western Kentucky. Hilltoppers up six at this point. The 15 seed pouring it on later in the half. Rodney Howard in the paint. Hilltoppers up seven at the break. Second half now. Eagles clawing back. David Joplin takes it straight to the cup for two. Marquette ties this one at 48. Golden Eagles go on a run from there. Cam Jones spinning and winning for two more. Six point lead for Marquette and the two seed starts to blow it open. Jones this time from downtown. You bet. Lead balloons up to 13 and the Eagles, they keep it going. Just over a minute to play now. Shot clock winding down. Steve Mitchell double clutches. Who cares? Still banks home the three. Marquette makes it look easy in the end as the Eagles soar past Western Kentucky 87 to 69. Frozen four tonight from New Hampshire, Wisconsin, looking to get back to the national championship game, taking on Colgate. Vivian Jungles lights the lamp. Badgers double their lead, and they go on to win it. 3-1 the final score. That sets up a rematch of last year's national title game. Badgers and Buckeyes will square off Sunday at 4 p.m. Timberwolves back at it tonight, looking for a win over the Cavs. Cleveland up five early in the third, but Anthony Edwards' three ball cuts it back to two. Then later in the third, Mike Conley finds Rudy Gobert here for the flush. Minnesota grabs the lead. T-Wolves going to tear from there. Off the stage, Jaden McDaniels fighting his way up for two. And how about Nas Reed? Early fourth quarter, Reed with a beeline to the basket. He slams it home. T-Wolves up 14. And then with two and a half to play, Reed showing he can do it all. Corner three is money. Minnesota up a dozen at that point. The T-Wolves putting the finishing touches on this one. Gobert rocks the rim again. Wolves get the win, 104 to 91. Well, good news for Brewers rookie Jackson Churio, the 20-year-old, making Milwaukee's opening day roster. Churio signed an eight-year, $82 million deal with the Brewers in the offseason. He hit 283 with 22 homers and 91 RBIs last year in double and triple A. Heading into today, Churio's been solid so far this spring, a 280 average in 50 at-bats in the spring so far. So. Good news there, bad news for the Badgers. It was mm. never close. No, it really never wasn't. Never close. They Tough came out lose. super flat, sloppy, a lot yep. of turnovers. Season high turnovers in the first half. Bad. Hard Disaster. to recover when uh, James Madison's riding high all season long. Yep, not good. And the pundits said that was a tough 12 seed. It sure so. was, 31 and three. So. Still a bummer, really is. Sure is. The Houston did very well. Yeah, they, they, they did do well, right. <laughs> dominated, <laughs> dominated today. Thanks guys for that. There you go. Cougars all the way, I guess. Right, right, right. You guys are wearing the red to, we are. to honor right. them. We sure so. are. It's not Badger red anymore. Right, <laughs> no, right. It's, it's Cougar red, exactly. Okay, we'll be right back after this. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Here's California banker Eric Hovde, running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion-dollar bank. Here's Hovde's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hubdy was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hubdy. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic. Which car and driver called fun to drive? There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to hit the road, tackle the yard, or start a new project, we get you the right products at the right prices. Like 36-pound bags of Estate Crabgrass Preventer, $32.99. 20-pound bags of Blaine's brand Cardinal Songbird Food, $14.99. Rewards members save an extra buck. And five quarts of Blaine's Full Synthetic Motor Oil, $23.99. Just $20.99 for rewards members. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
The Flex Steel Factory Authorized Sale. It's happening now at Drury's and Fountain. It's easier than ever to save more than ever when you choose your Flex Steel furniture at Drury's. You'll find exciting designs, stunning fabrics, and the best prices of the year right now at Drury's and Fountain. Sofas, sectionals, recliners, even luxurious leather. The possibilities are endless. Plus, there's even 12 month interest free financing on all Flex Steel furniture. Unlimited choices, special financing, and the best prices of the year. Now at Drury's in Fountain. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. A North Carolina hotel doesn't just have human guests, it also fosters shelter dogs in an effort to get them adopted. And one older pup recently found his forever home with a guest. The welcome <coughs> is likely to have a different sound as guests check into the park on Main in Highlands. The hotel is, is dog friendly, it's dog forward. Uh, I would say it's not only dog friendly, says the general manager, but a place that fosters dogs from the Cashers Highlands Humane Society. This relationship started in 2015. We've probably adopted 25 to 30 dogs uh, through the history of our partnership, and those dogs have gone all over the country. Calhoun, an eight year old hound dog mix rescued by the shelter last July as a stray in Hendersonville, is the latest dog in residence. Not just getting a chance to live in the lap of luxury, but also getting exposure to multiple guests, each one a possible forever adoptee. The guest took Calhoun to a room, took him on a walk. That recent guest was Sydney Haeckel, visiting from Nashville, Tennessee. She went home without him, but couldn't get him off her mind. A reminder to her and her boyfriend of a previous dog they lost not long ago. They decided they had to adopt him. Haeckel made the necessary arrangements with shelter staff. Calhoun just kind of spoke to her. To bring Calhoun home. <coughs> Plans made for the handoff at a halfway spot in Tennessee. <laughs> he curled up on the dog bed the whole time. And oh, he's not he's like a senior. He's so strong. Oh, yeah. He's very I love strong. That. Yeah. Haeckel overjoyed. We just fell in love with him and happy to take him home. He'll have a playmate when he arrives, their other dog oh, yeah. named Goober. Have them kind of meet each other and then just let him roam around and explore. I definitely want to get him a Starbucks pup cup at some point of whipped cream to celebrate. For the park on Main, a combination of emotions. I'd be sorry to see him go. It's a sad day for us, but we're also very happy that he found his forever home. Calhoun, a name of Scottish origin meaning from the narrow woods, finally finding his way to his forever home. Oh, good boy. Perfect. A great story. Greg's back right after this. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints up the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. Getting 10% back is easy at Fleet Farm. For a limited time only, Fleet Rewards members can earn 10% back on all purchases in store and online. Spend 50 bucks, get five bucks back in rewards. No rebates, no coupons, no hassles. Plus, Fleet Rewards membership is free. So if you're not signed up yet, now's the time. Then get shopping to earn 10% back on everything you need for everyday life at Fleet Farm. Some exclusions apply, not valid at Ankeny and Waukee, Iowa stores. Whether you're looking for a complete bathroom makeover or a simple bath or shower conversion, your home improvement company will exceed your expectations 
with stunning design options and top quality materials. We can complete your project in as little as one day and all our work is always backed by a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. Call now to get up to 30% off your bathroom remodel and enjoy zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2025. Call now to take advantage of these great savings. Your eyewear should be as individual as you. With Shopco Optical's extensive selection of frames and lenses, our optometrist will learn about you and help you customize the right choice for your lifestyle. Visit Shopco Optical and find your new signature style today. All right, stay tuned to the forecast, especially for Sunday, because we have snow that will transition to rain, and then we go into Monday, it gets warm and rain, rainy, complex system. So there'll be updates to the forecast, but definitely pay attention to Sunday. And get that first one weather okay, after Sunday. Right. Yeah, that's Have right. a great weekend, everybody.